my first flight with the DJI Mini 2, my very first drone. And it's exciting and exhilarating and at certain times heart pounding to be able to fly in the sky with a teeny tiny little drone. I want to share with you what it's like to pilot what I believe is one of the best drones for beginners out there. This is DJI's Lydas drone. It's only 249 grams, so it's light enough that you don't even have to basically register it with the FAA. My name is Malachi Sherlock, and this is Adorama TV. It might be light, but the features that they've added to it are pretty awesome. It shoots 4K, it shoots RAW, and it's got a ton of quick shot features that I'm about to show you. But before we dive into the detail, let me show you my future best shot of the day, captured with the DJI Mini 2. And I couldn't have asked for a more spectacular sunset on the very first day that I fly a drone. Now this is Forest Park in Queens. It's actually one of five parks that have been designated model aircraft fields where you can fly your drone legally. So what else do you need to know? Well, the batteries last about 31 minutes and if your budget can stretch that far, pick up the Fly More combo. You get three batteries. Trust me, you're gonna use every single one of them every time you go out and fly. That's over 255 feet. Can you guys see me now? It's all about perspective. And these drones give you a bird's eye view of your environment, places and just ways to see your environment and the world in a completely different way. And it's so simple to set up. It's so easy to fly and it is so, so much fun. The video transmission technology is called OcuSync 2.0. And what you need to know is that it is much better than the previous enhanced Wi-Fi that they were using. So you can be confident of the signal being transmitted from the drone to your controller and your phone. Basically the signal transmission ranges have been improved. Now the lens is about a 24 millimeter equivalent, which gives you an 83 degree field of view. Its aperture is fixed at f2.8. And when you're shooting in 4K, it has a 2X zoom. If you want to change the camera angle and fill them with something other than a straight ahead or straight down view, there's a small little roller wheel on the left hand side of the controller that allows you to tilt down the camera angle. All right, it's time to go back to the beginning and do the unboxing. This is the DJI Mini 2 that I've just unboxed. Right, let's get into it. We've got the drone, we've got the controller, and we have the batteries. So when you want to fold it up, back legs first, they fold in like so, in front to back. So it's really small, very compact. If you can see the propellers here, they kind of like float around. It can be kind of a bit of annoying. So they came up with this very cool idea. Don't know if you can see that there, but this is a propeller guard. Pop your guard on like this, protect the propellers on the back. Beautiful, propellers drop down on the opposite side and that just locks into place. Propeller guards on, all perfect. The camera and the gimbal moves up and down. You can see it's actually quite a sensitive piece of hardware. I've got the little protector on the front. And what I wanna do is I just wanna slide that down on the unit, just like this. And it slots into place and you can hear a little click. Fully protected, lens gimbal on the front, nice little wrap that makes sure that the actual propellers are safe. I feel like that could fit in your pocket, no problem. Full set of replacement propellers, awesome. So what else do you need to know? Well, you're gonna to need to power this unit. The batteries, three of them, come in the Fly More kit. Button on the side, once it pressed, will give you an idea of how much battery you've got left in each of the units. It's a very cool, very smart way to be able to charge and carry the batteries. This is where the battery fits. Slides in like this. Close it up, everything's ready to go. Memory card goes there. It's a very cool looking controller and just feels really good. So behind the controller, it has two 
of these and they screw in right here like that. That's where the storage is and the charger unit. This unit here just pulls up like so. And you want to plug that directly into your phone. That's what it's going to look like when you're out there flying. Relatively easy. So that's a quick overview of what's inside. You've got the gimbal, the battery, the controller, and then obviously some of the spares and the accessories. So let's go pack it all up. And what's very cool is that it all comes with this super cool little pouch. So everything fits inside here. Space here at the top, which you can place your propellers. Make some room for those. And then inside, I got room for my batteries, the controller, and then my drone. And that fits nice and snug. Right, so we got everything packed away. All we gotta do is to continue shooting. I'm gonna hop on the J train. We're gonna head over to Forest Park in Queens. It's a little bit outside of Manhattan, but you can pretty much be there in about 45 minutes. There are a few locations, as I said, in the city where you can basically fly a drone. And I'll leave links to all those locations down below. So if you get your drone, you're gonna know where you can fly legally. So as we chill and enjoy the subway ride all the way out to Forest Park in Queens, I thought I'd share with you some of the key feature upgrades on the Mini 2. I suppose the first one and the biggest one is that it's got a better camera and that now shoots in 4K resolution. Next up is it finally shoots in RAW, so if you're interested in shooting RAW and being able to edit that in post-production, that's a cool new feature. They've upgraded again the OcuSync 2 for better video transmission. The controller is beefier and it's basically the same one now that the big brother uses in the Mavic Air 2, so that's kind of cool um, and I'm happy that they've made that change. The increased battery life moves from 30 to 31 minutes. And then some of the software features that they've added and enhanced is the addition of panorama and 360 in the photo mode. And in the quick shot video mode, they've added an additional boomerang pre-flight path. Now these are all fantastic new features and functionality. Welcome upgrades from version one of the product. So the Mini 2 has almost everything that you need. So what's missing? Well, because the Mini is an inexpensive entry level drone, it misses out some of the advanced features. So it lacks obstacle avoidance sensors. Now without those sensors, you can't really use features and functionality like active track. So there isn't active track. So you can't follow yourself. And it's highly likely that even if they did implement it without the sensors, eh, high probability that you'd crash into something. Now, quick shot is kind of active track light. You know, these are short pre-programmed moves that follow a predefined flight path. So basically it allows you to create quick snackable 15 to 20 second sequences. It's kind of, as I said, active track light. They work well, they look cool, and it delivers on the promise of creating professional cinematic shots with absolutely no experience. I don't know, I just wish that they would add obstacle avoidance sensors to a drone that specifically targets new users, beginners like us. But sure, you can't have everything, and maybe it's something that they'll include in the next version. So really, how big is this drone? Well, it's tiny. With all this upgraded hardware, it's impressive that they're able to pack in so much into such a small little device. I mean, if you look at this, it's no bigger than my iPhone. I think they've created a product at just the right price point that will encourage enthusiasts, hobbyists, or just about anybody that wants to experience the thrill of a lightweight flying camera. The Mini 2 only weighs 8.8 .8 ounces, and what I really like is it comes with this cool little propeller holder that wraps around the body of the drone, protecting the propellers when it's folded up and stored away. The Mini 2's unique design requires you to unfold the four arms. Two of them fold out towards the front and then the two fold down, revealing the full form factor of the quadcopter, which is about eight inches wide. It's impressive engineering and a sweet design. The camera and gimbal are located to the front. At the rear, you've got slots for the SD card, the battery, and then right underneath it, you also have a battery level indicator with four LEDs. And like all great partnerships, this one comes with what I would call my favorite controller. It's got a bit of weight to it, feels good in the hand, and it's pretty big in comparison to the drone itself. You pull out a little bracket at the front of it, you can attach your iPhone, connect in the cable, and that's it, pretty easy. This is exciting. The park is right around the corner, let's go fly. All right, let's jump straight into the fun stuff. This is quick shot. 
and right now I've set this to 80 feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a green box around myself. Three, two, one. And then immediately it'll start to spin off out into the air. And that's it. It's that simple. That's how you create an automated cinematic shot. Well, Helix is a very cool camera transition. Quick shot rocket just might be my favorite. And then there's quick shot circle, which is probably the automated camera move that surprised me the most. It works really well. And for a flying camera, I'm pleasantly surprised at how well it performs. Ta-da! All right, let's get out of here and let me show you some manual shots. For my very first time flying, I had a lot of fun. The drone performed brilliantly even in high winds. And I even had to look up what a level five rating meant. It basically means that your drone can withstand and fly in winds between 29 and 38 kilometers per hour. Really impressive given its size. If I was to say what one of my favorite things, I think it's the experience of flying. Because when you have that controller in your hand, put your finger on the joystick, you know there's a whole brand new world right above you, waiting to be filmed, waiting to be photographed. And as impressive as the technology is, with the 4K 24P 100 megabit recordings, the DNG raw 12 megapixel files, it's the decent flight time that you're gonna be most thankful for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then. Yeah.